Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Easter Saturday, April the 2nd, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 31, verses 1 through 8, and 2 Corinthians 4, verse 16, to chapter 5, verse 10. And please join me in singing verse 5 of Awake, Arise. O dead, arise, O friendless stand, by seraphim adored. O solitude again command, your host from heaven restored. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, in you I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Hallelujah. Psalm 31. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah. In you I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bend your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my strong rock, a castle to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O God of truth. I have hated them that regard worthless idols, but I trust in you. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in distress. You have not let the enemy take me prisoner. But you have set me free in a large open space. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah in you I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Hallelujah. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 16. And so we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away. Our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling. If indeed, when we have taken it off, we will not be found naked. For while we are still in this tent, we groan under our burden, because we wish not to be unclothed, but to be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by this life. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee, so that we are always confident even though we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. 
For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we do have confidence, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him. For all of us must appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense for what has been done in the body, whether good or evil. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen our hearts and preserve your faithful, O God Most High, as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.